guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 University World Adventures here. We're here with Braylon. I do want to make an announcement about this LP. We are getting very, very close to the very end of this LP. We are only going about another 18 episodes. So, um, I'm going to be, I don't know if I'm going to be continuing on or what I'm going to do. I don't know. Um, but I would like to continue on either with this family or a family that I've ended in the past. Um, so let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, so we're here and we're with Braylon and, um, I think she's just about to open up this treasure chest. Um, yeah, I think so. So let's go ahead and let her go. Uh, we should be good. And I think we're going to have to turn on that thing in her inventory again. Um, it's like a teardrop coming from an eye. Here it is. Activate this. All right. Go ahead and open this up. And then you need to collect this. Collect loot. Okay. So there's nothing in there. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Um, for some odd reason, remember my game was running awfully slow and I don't know why. Alright, so that relic was worth 132 simoleons, so we've gotten that. And that's all I really see in here except for be pulling these forward. Um, actually don't pull that one. Go ahead and pull this to the side. Alright, and then go ahead and go through the door. Alright. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and pause really quickly. It's really just like lagging down and I don't honestly know why. But let's go ahead and inspect this door. Wall or whatever here. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it's so laggy. It's spinning so quickly and it's not even because it's something I'm doing. It's because it's lagging so bad. It just seems like it's not moving and it really is. So... It's really unfortunate, and I do apologize. Let's go ahead and also have her clear this when she's done inspecting that. And then when she's done with that, she can look inside, and we should be good. And then we should be able to get into this room back here, because it has some uh, stuff in it that we need to collect. As you can see, there's that little blue sparkly dot, which is something that we need to collect there. So then we need to clear this. And hopefully, we don't have any, we don't have a lot of blue sparkly dots that we've missed, do we? We have one over here. That we should probably go check out. Oh wait, that's where we're going. Duh. Do you have any blue sparkly dots? Over here, we've missed some stuff. So we might want to investigate it. I don't know. We'll can see. Alright, what'd she find? She found a canopic jar. Nice! We actually need those, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so that's all we had to get here. This thing just makes it easier to know, okay, I've cleared this room, you know, and I didn't miss anything. That's what I like about it. It's definitely something that I like to have pretty early on. Yeah, it would have been helpful in China as well. If you come over here and only bad thing is you'd have to get your... I think you have to be at level 2 to be able to um, get it. So you'd have to really, you know, get to a level 2 here. Which is kind of difficult if you don't have the Pangu's Axe. So, I mean, you could always go back to China. You could always go back through those if you really wanted to. That you That's something you can do if you really want to. Um... I normally don't because if I miss something, normally I can find it just by doing like the little dig things. I don't know what they're called. Um, normally that's what I would actually do is just go back and to China and do those. But I don't know. I would have to kind of see what's what it's all about. 
All right, so this one is really well hidden back here. So go ahead and collect that. I think it's just a money bag. But we're going to take it nonetheless. We need the monies. We need the money, honey. Especially if we want to buy some uh, vacation homes. We really need to start selling out some of the stuff that's in her inventory, which would probably be the best idea is, like, consign it when we get back home. But again, I haven't because I was waiting until the end of her adventures to do it. And man, this is really laggy. It's like really ugh, so hard for me to play this game sometimes when it's this laggy. All right. So I'm guessing we have to go up the stairs since we just unlocked this room and everything around it is already unlocked. All right. And she doesn't need to sleep soon. So I'll probably put the tent down here if I can. This is a very open area there. So it's a pretty good area to do it. Come on. So laggy. It's just like, you know, unbearably laggy right now. <sighs> Man. This is what I hate sometimes about World Adventures. The people, when they made these these early on towns, they were really laggy for the fact that... um. They were not careful when they made them. So what you get is a lot of lag because people get stuck. And they learned later on, you know, how to prevent that when they made the worlds. That's why the later on worlds, I feel, don't get as laggy as these earlier ones. Um, so it's kind of like... Kind of hard to play these, world, these kinds of worlds. Like Sunset Valley... A lot of those sims get stuck all the time and my game lags. But, like, if I play... Well, Island, Isla Paradiso is just really laggy altogether. Um, but if, say, I play, like, you know, Hidden Springs or something, it doesn't, never, doesn't get as laggy until really late in the game. And then it gets a little laggy. And then you just reset everything and everything goes back to normal for a long time. So that's kind of why I like to play in these other towns because I just feel like these beginning towns just they lag down so bad because of the routing issues but again like I said there's nothing I can do about that it's totally just like gotta go with what you got you know so we deal with it or at least I try to I'm really tempted to just reset everything because this is just a little bit much but I was trying to let her finish this tomb before I did that. If I reset everything, what'll happen is, um, what'll happen is she'll get reset back to base, and then I'd have to reset her back over to here, so. Alright, she figured out that there was a door switch there, which is nice. Alright, so in here, when you come in the door, First off, there's a chest right here. Let's go ahead and open that. And let's see. We're still looking for the Relic of Eternity, so we still need to figure that out. We need to figure out where that is. And as you can see, when she walks in, it opens up this downstairs room as well. We got a dive well fragment, so we'll take that. All right. Yeah, it opens up the downstairs area. All right, stop turning. Shoosh. All right, push far. I really honestly can't remember if there is anything on the floor here. I can see there's a thing down there, though, that we need to take care of. Yeah, she definitely needs to sleep. Ooh, fire. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> All right. That should be good. It's not showing up that there's anything here, but that doesn't mean there's not anything there, you know. Open this up. Mm. Wait, stop pushing that. Oh, she's lost her mind. Okay, come on. Search that. All right, so this is the Egyptian statue of the cobra, and we got two money bags as well, so we'll take both of those. She just seen a mummy, so she's excited. Okay, that's fine. She wants to. I think this is Don. No, it's Hoganipta Corpolis or something like that. I don't know. 
Uh, pull this far. We have to pull it twice, I think, to get in here. All right, well, push this. Wait, no, 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 don't do that. Can you pull this? Yeah, pull it again. <sighs> All right, and then what I want you to do is I want you to pull far from this side. Because what she has to do is she has to pull it back on herself so that it takes off the traps. And then when she want, then she has to get the chest. And then when she wants to get back out, she has to push it back out to be able to get back out. You could try and disarm them if you really wanted to. Um, I really don't think it's necessary. I think this is like the easiest way, you know. So this is what I normally just do. But I mean, you could do whatever you really want. It doesn't really matter to me. All right, so we got an oval cut rainbow gem, a oval cut luminous gem. So we're gonna take all those. All right, I know you're tired. Actually, can I fit the tent over here before you do this? Hold on. I wish I had a sleeping bag, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the only place I'm going to be able to place this is downstairs. Where's that hallway that she went up for those stairs? Did I just totally screw myself over? Yeah, it was like right here, wasn't it? Yeah, right. All right, I could place it here. Is that like easy to get to? Hmm. It's locked to get in there. <laughs> Great. I just put that in there. Um. Okay. So she would have to go through here and through this door. Which means she would need to insert the keystone, which she's got. So we could do that. If we can't get it, you know, at this very moment in time, um, she does have other ones that she can sleep in. So I'm hoping she can finish this room off so she can get out of this place. But I don't know. Push far. Go ahead and do it. And we'll see what we can do here. Where's my mummy? Scooby-Doo reference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and when you're done, go ahead and look inside this sarcophagus. Yeah, the mummy's just kind of wandering around aimlessly. It's don't really bother me. All right, you can stop. Jeez, you didn't have to go that far with it. All right, are you done? She's like, yeah, I think so. Can she actually sleep in that? I don't think so. I think it would curse her, to be honest, if she were to try and sleep in there. All right, and when you go over here, you're going to have to pull this far, as long as you find something in there. There you go. All right, so go ahead and pull this far. She found <laughs> the 12th of five King Sarcophagus of the King's Fragments. Yeah, I think we've got plenty of those. We're going to be able to make, so far we can make two of them, which is just kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Pull far. What are you going to do? Fight? We're going to attack with a mummy. The thing is, is he's um, hitting on her, but trying to kill her. Um, I don't think she'll win. Alright. Eat and eat. What is this? Knocked out. That's fine. We were knocked out. Hitting on us anyways. Don't matter. You want to defeat a mummy? Well, I mean, you're really going to have to work on that one. There, that takes care of your hunger. Should put you in a bit of a better mood. I know you're tired, but we got to get this so we can get downstairs. So otherwise, we ain't going anywhere. Because... <laughs> I don't think, well, she could attempt to cross it, but I think if she gets too tired where she can't do anything, I don't think she can attempt to cross anything either. 
All right, so that's all we had to come up here for. This is not where we had to go, but, I mean, it is, you know. All right, so if we go back out of here, we go through here. This is where we came from. We came through here, came through here. We opened this up. So what we need to do is we need to come down here and insert the keystone in this room here. I think this is also the room that you're seeing from above. It just looks a bit different because all the weeds pop in and stuff. So let's come down here and insert this keystone. And then we can sleep and then we should be able to open up all these rooms when she gets up. And then we should be good after that. She should be good. So at least we know we're headed in the right direction, I guess. Because we hadn't checked over there yet. And that's all that's upstairs. There's no... The things that are gleaming are downstairs on the bottom that's on this floor. And on this floor, I'm not seeing anything. So I think we've pretty much got everything. I think we're just right here. This is all we need. So once she gets through here, we should be pretty good. Alright, so insert that. Go ahead and go through the door. And then I'll let you go ahead and sleep. And when you're done, go ahead and put it in your inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out while she sleeps, and I'll be back when she's getting up for her day. Be back in just a second. All right, so Braylon's up, and I told her to pick up her tent, eat an apple, and take a shower, pretty much. Um, while she was sleeping, I was thinking, man, I was stupid. I just let her, like, run in here, but whatever. So she's taking care of all of her needs, which is good. This is getting laggy again for some odd reason. And I can't even see my mouse. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't see anything over here. That's like the edge of the pyramid anyways. Um, so let's see. Over here, I'm not seeing anything again. I do notice that there's this keystone here that we need to get. And I wanted to zoom in a bit just to make sure that's it. There's a light here, which kind of, you know, helps you see that. But, excuse me. Um, That's about it. That's about all that I see at this very moment in time. So go ahead and grab that keystone and we can go from there. I don't see anything getting over there. I was checking while she was sleeping. I didn't see any. That doesn't mean there isn't any again because, obviously, you know how things go. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, let's just follow her. And again, there's going to be nothing here on this wall because it leads to the outside, so it wouldn't really make any sense. So that's fine. All right, so we've picked up the keystone, which I think goes to one of these doors. But what we saw was that you could actually get behind here. And I wanted to look and see how we do this. All right, well, there's nothing over here. If this would just stop lagging, I would be so happy. Stop, please. Come on. This is just ridiculous. All right. Can you pull this? Come on. I'm getting angry. <laughs> well, I didn't have a great day, guys. I got some really awful news. And so I'm a little bit on edge. And I do apologize if you guys are like, oh, my God, this girl's cranky. Like, I'm not. It's just. I'm having a really bad 2015 so far, so. All right, let's see. Can you pull this? No, no. Okay, fine. Whatever. Oh, my goodness. Now it's turning. It's like, I did that like five minutes ago. I just may have to reset it. All right, so you got the keystone. It's just like, look, I just did this like five minutes ago. Serious. I just tried to move the screen like five minutes ago, and it didn't move. All right, and I'm thinking that these ones back here, you can't move either. So I'm thinking you have to go through these. So let's just start going through the doors. I don't know. Best option because it's the only thing I can think of that's actually going to get us progress because right now it is lagging so bad in this tomb for some odd reason that it's, like, unbearable. And I'm about ready to give up on the stupid tomb because <laughs> it's really frustrating. All right, go ahead and clear this. Come on. Stop. All right. 
Go ahead and collect that. And then go ahead and look inside here. Um, she found another relic worth 61 simoleons. Fine with me, whatever. All right. What'd she find? Relic worth seven simoleons. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and let's go through this door. <sighs> yeah, it's very laggy here in Egypt right now. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Collect the loot and look inside. That just looks like it would be a door, but it's like in a weird spot. Found the money bag. We also, oh, you know what I was also going to have her do? I was also going to have her turn in all these money bags for the 2,071 simoleons that they're worth. So, we'll get that going. Oh, shit, sucked in. Did I click, did I click the apples? I didn't think so, but I don't know. Look inside again because you got sucked in. All right. And then when she's done, she can go through this door over here. Hopefully she doesn't get sucked in again. All right. Let's go ahead and go through here. She found a relic worth 91 simoleons that time, so that's pretty good. And I'm not seeing any other, like, blue sparkly things over here, so I'm guessing that's all that we had to collect. There's a couple of things in here you can see that we have to collect. Right off the bat, see, it's nice because you know that you're going to have to go here or, you know, that you're not missing anything. Why don't you go ahead and start with opening these and, oh, it's frozen, whatever. Come on, back to the game. Hopefully she isn't stepping in any traps because, like, I can't even, you know, I can't even tell anymore. It's just so laggy, I can't even tell. All right, let's see. Go ahead and come on. Really? Go ahead and collect that. All right, so we got some more ancient coins. Go ahead and collect that. You can click that and click that. And then you can look inside this. Let's see. We got five, oh, uh, broken Egyptian broken bowl, red pottery, and a plum bob cut diamond. And then we have 5,291 ancient coins already. So that's a lot. That's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. All right. So here we go. Here we go. We still haven't found the Relic of Eternity. I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated because we still haven't found it. But it might be like the last thing we find. I don't know. Or either we're missing something. So 5,326, 5,393. We've got a lot of ancient coins, friends. Lots of ancient coins. All right, so search in here. And then this is going to be where the door is because it's got the rug there to indicate it. All right, and she found the 13th of five pieces that we needed to make the kings of uh, the sarcophagus of the king's fragments. Wow. Okay, so almost up to being able to make three. And two more pieces, we will be able to make three. So... There you go. All right. And then when she gets through here, she can clear this. Normally when these are out, you can do something with them, but these ones are not letting me do anything with them. I don't know if it's just like a coincidence or what, or if we have to figure out which one's the right one to do. I don't know. And you can inspect that hole as well. Because yeah, it's not giving me like anything to do with them. Unless they're going to like light up when she walks through, it'll be weird. She found a secret door. My cats are getting on my nerves as well with this door crap. My cats know how to open the door, but it's not fully closed all the way. And so they're going in and out, in and out, in and out. And with it being so cold in my house, it's like, close the door, cat. Like, <laughs> I want to be able to uh, stay warm. All right, so there was something we missed. Hold on. There's got to be a way to be able to get here to inspect this, and she can't get through here because there's bushes there. Oh, we had to pull this far. Actually, just push it. Just push this far. 
Go ahead and do it. She can figure her way back, you know. All right. There you go. That's all you had to do. You didn't have to go very far with it. All right. And then go ahead and inspect this. I don't know what it's going to give her, if it's going to give her anything, but hopefully it does. I'm hoping it gives her something. And then she can go ahead and cash these in for 594. What'd she get? Medium quality dried food. That's what I just ran all the way back for. Ugh. Dumb. All right. Go ahead and inspect here. Is there treasure in this room? There, it doesn't show it as any treasure, but there might be. I'm not 100% sure. I'm thinking there probably is. Like a treasure chest. Because treasure chests and sarcophagus fragments don't. If it's just lying out, that's when you'll see the blue sparkles. But if it's something else like that, you won't see it. So that might be why we're not seeing any blue sparkles. But there may be chests, treasure chests and stuff in here that we have to go through. All right. <clears throat> She is getting kind of hungry, so I think I'm going to have her eat another apple. Go ahead and eat that. And you're done. And then I'll fill you right up. And you should be good. And we shouldn't have to worry about it. Wow. There's a lot in here to do. Okay. Get morning, friend. Get morning. New morning for life. <laughs> She's like having a heart attack. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We may not get anything from this, which is the funny part. We're just making her like ball our eyes out for nothing. But I'm guessing there's got to be something here. They wouldn't just have an empty room for no reason. Bam. Still can't believe we haven't found the Relic of Eternity. This is really weird. I feel like there's something I've missed because I haven't found it yet. I don't know. Maybe not, but it's just how I feel. And I honestly can't tell you which one of those gave her this because she was like mourning for life. She found a pushable statue fragment, two of five. Okay. Not the greatest find, but I don't know. There's got to be something to do with this. There we go. Inspect that. Hoping we're going to find something good in here because I'm a little like, where is it? <laughs> Normally it's in a treasure chest. I thought there would have been treasure chests in here, but I don't see any. So... I think we missed something. I think we've missed something, unfortunately. Unless this unlocks something, and that's why it's like frozen here. Um, she found some grapes. Oh, Avralino grapes, cherries, nectar worth 470 simoleons is what she found. Fantabulous! Exactly what I needed. <laughs> I needed some nectar while I'm down here traveling. All right, so we missed something. So what did we miss? This whole level is literally open except for over here somewhere. Maybe is where we missed it. Just keeps giving me Enros, so. Um, did we inspect this? Did we miss that? Something we missed? I don't think so, because I think that did those just feel like maybe that's something I missed, but I guess not. There's a spot over here. I really think it's got to be on a different level, but there's not really much up here to be able to miss it. So it's like, can't really be up there. There is some stuff down here that I felt like I had missed, and I couldn't figure out where. Like, over here, I feel like I've missed something, you know? So maybe I did. Maybe I missed something over here. I have no idea. I just feel like I was really careful and 
Oh, man. Well, now I get to play Find Where You Missed It. Because we still haven't found the Relic of Eternity, which is kind of weird. We should have found it by now. I mean, we went through pretty much everything in this tomb. So, either we missed something, or we haven't found a secret hidden door or something. And that's why we don't know where it is. Wait, what was that? I don't want that. Alright, fine. I may have to look it up because honestly, I have no idea. Hmm, weird. I honestly thought you found it upstairs where that mummy was. I thought that was where we were going to find it, to be honest with you. And then we didn't find anything like that. And I was like, hmm, weird. Because I could have sworn that's where I found it before. I don't know. Is there like a floor below this? There is a floor below this. Okay, so. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm like clicking the walls, trying to see if anything pops up. What's that? Okay, view. What? No, I don't want to go here. Wait, what was that? Go through door. Okay. We did miss something. We missed a door somehow. Oh, we didn't have the keystone for it. Now we do. Gotcha. I gotcha. All right. I'm going to just make her go faster. If I can. Oh, look. Yeah, we did miss some stuff that you could tell. If I had turned the time on, we would have been able to see that. Come on. Um, This must have been the keystone we just got from that room upstairs. Let me go up a second. I want to see. Is there anything on this level? No, I think we've got everything on this level. I think I checked. And I don't see anything on this level anymore. And I don't see anything on this level. So we've definitely just got to go into this room over here. This is the only thing I think we're missing. So we should be pretty good otherwise. Alright, so go ahead and go through the door. <laughs> She's literally lost her mind. Go through the door. Okay. Off the bat, I know I can see some stuff going down here. <laughs> We, I could see us stepping on some things. If, if we're not very careful, we will step on things that we don't really want to step on. So, let's be careful. Um, Alright, let's see. Alright, can you disarm this? Can you at least try? And there's another one here. But if I can disarm this one, we can cross and get on this. Hoping she can. I really am. Wow, that was loud. What kind of trap is it? This technology is ancient. There's no way you'll be... I can only tell what it is. Can you attempt to cross it? Okay. Now stand on this. Oh, it was electricity too. <laughs> and I think this might disarm all these. Nope, it did something else. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, so it opened, it unlocked this door over here. Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. There is a hole here, but I'm guessing there's probably some traps to get there. So we have to be careful how we walk, I'm thinking. All right, so I'm going to have her go here. And then I'm going to tell her to inspect this. I've checked the floor. I don't think there's anything that she's going to step on. So we should be pretty okay. How are we doing, friend? She's like, I'm working on it. Slowly. <laughs> Alright. Now go ahead and inspect this one. She gets really excited when she finds a switch. <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize this or not. But she 
absolutely gets really excited. All right, and how are we doing on days? I think we're on our last, second to last day, or la almost last day, pretty much. Yeah, so we need to kind of book it through this, just finish this tomb off. All right. I disarmed all those, okay. Go ahead and inspect this. And is that not something you can inspect? I guess not, it's just that one. But I think that opens up this whole room back here where we can pick up the treasure that's kind of hidden on the floor. And I'm trying to zoom out in just a second. Hopefully it'll cooperate with me. Um, I think going through this door will open this up or clo get clo closer to all this. It's really scary. And it goes like way over here. So I don't know if this is something... See, this one's the one that freaks me out because it's like it's on that other side of that wall. And I know that we should have been able to get to it somehow. I just don't know how, to be honest. All right, so she opened up that, which opens up this room. So go ahead and clear this. This is another door to inspect as well. You can see that through the wall. How funny was that? All right, go ahead and collect your loot. Go ahead and collect this. I don't see anything. That just means it's not there, but hopefully she doesn't die. We've got shower in a can if she does get on caught on fire. 293 simoleons, okay. Go ahead and mourn. 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 This poor girl has cried for these people who she has no idea for who they are. More than she's cried for anyone else, so. Collect the loot. Mourn. Mourn. Collect. Mourn. We've got so many of these ancient coins, it's getting ridiculous. But, anyways. Then she needs to collect. Collect. And this will be the last one that she needs to collect. And then from there we should be pretty good, I would think. I think we've pretty much gotten everything. Alright, what was that? That was another Dival fragment. We've almost got enough to make two of those as well. We're going to have so many of these things, it's going to be unbearable. We're going to have so much stuff to make when we get home. Hopefully we can make them. We'll just make them and leave them at home or something. Put them in our inventory or something. I don't know. We'll put them somewhere. Else. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Finally it popped up. Man, I felt like I was never going to find it. It must have been that one because this is the last one. and she's. I know I had to click this and then that. So... Was this one that opened that up if you guys want to know? Alright, cut turquoise worth an impressive 113 simoleons. It's fine. Yeah, that's the only one that did anything for me, so if you're wondering, it's that one. The big tall one in the back. <laughs> the one that I almost got to last. Alright, 5,467, 5,431, 5,484. Man, we are just, it's just flying high. Okay. She found a money bag. All right, I'll take it. All right, go ahead and inspect this while you're in here. You might as well. All right, I'm just going to follow her because pretty much that's what we're waiting on is her. So we'll just follow her a little bit. All right, let's see. Yes, no, maybe so. Secret door. Yeah, we know. Alright, so here we go. Into the secret door we go and clear this. We're getting really close to over here. See, this is what freaks me out. Is why can I not get to that? I have no idea. And I can't go down because it doesn't go down any farther. I don't know unless you open up that staircase, though, if you'll know that. 
Like if you'll know that you can go down farther or not. Alright, go ahead and look inside this. And I'm not seeing any doors or anything here that we should be opening. Except for there. I almost missed that. To be honest, I almost missed this. Thank goodness I clicked there. Alright, and we just got a relic worth 94 simoleons this time. So that's pretty good. It's not too bad. It's not the really good ones, but it's something, right? Alright, so go ahead and inspect that. I really almost missed that, to be honest with you. Oh my goodness, I had a hiccup. Excuse me. All right. What'd you find, my friend? A secret door. Okay. And what is this opening up to us? Because I can't see anything. <laughs> um... Can you go here? <laughs> okay, here we go. This should open it up, at least. Whoa. It's like... I can't see. Excuse me? <laughs> um... <laughs> what? How am I supposed to see? No idea. Cats, close the door, please. As I wait for this thing to finish figuring out what it needs to do. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here because I can't see. It's really weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's my timer, but I want to really wanted to finish this off today. Maybe I should just give it some more time? I don't know. Alright. Attempt to cross this. Just see if you can. I'm just curious. Whoop. Bam. And attempt to cross that one too. It's very dark in here. Do you see this? Can anyone else see in here? I honestly feel like I'm missing something because it's like... I don't know. That room did, like, didn't load up properly or something. I have no idea. I'm going to come back over here really quickly. I want to see if this is something we were supposed to do before that. Maybe that'll pop it open. I have no idea. So go ahead and go through this door. I'm just going to speed her up while she walks over here. Okay. That one popped in, like, perfectly. It didn't have an issue. Weird. That is really weird. I've never had it do that to me before. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or what's supposed to be going on. I have no idea. It's really weird, though. All right. Well, we're just going to continue on. We're just going to try and finish off this area over here, maybe, and see if it pops that in. I don't know. It might not. I have no idea. Maybe I'm supposed to do it in the dark. Maybe it's, that's, like, the secret. I don't know. What's here? A door. Okay. So, do that. Speed her up a little bit so it goes a little bit quicker. We're almost on our last day. I'd really like to finish this before she goes home. I really, really, really would like to do that. It's like, you know, the one thing I really would like to do before this, we head ho back home with her. Um, go ahead and collect and collect. I'm going to speed her up again. Oh, okay, open this. <laughs> I'm just still getting the sounds from when she was breaking the rock down. It's just hilarious. It was like it was like really heavy to pick up or something. All right, open this up. What'd you get? I think the game is like, I don't know. Oh, we got the Egyptian sigil of the Den of Lost Souls. Perfect. Take that. Alright. Sounds good to me. A money bag. 
Relic worth 59 smillion. Secret door. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about all that stuff, you know? All right. I'm really happy she got that, though. Some more sarcophagus of the, fi the king's fragments. Okay. Open this one up. And then we need to collect this. And then we need to go through this door. That's what I think is left in this area, really. <sighs> All right, we got some more ancient coins. <laughs> oh, no. We got 5,549 now. Getting a lot. Oh, and she's getting really hungry. So... Go ahead and cash in all these money bags for 2,764 simoleons. And why don't you eat one of these and eat this one. It'll get it out of your thing. That's where she has to go. Well, that's nice to know that we've pretty much got it. So she never forget the euphoria of completing a tomb. And there's a mummy in here, I think, because she's got the wish to... Um, she does see another mummy. Uh, she's got the wish to beat a mummy. Man, how many times do we have this thing? Like, seriously. She completed this. Okay, and she got a relic worth 85 simoleons. Okay, go ahead and... Um, go ahead and stand on this. Oh, there's two mummies. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. So that's why she saw seeing a mummy twice. <laughs> what is this? Jump on it. Bam! Whoa! Where did all the mummies go? <laughs> Alright, uh, why don't you pull this? Uh, did you kill the mummies? Is that how you killed the mummies? I think so. You're actually gonna have to pull it twice, I think. And don't forget these ancient coins. I don't think you can fit through there. You can try. Collect loot. I don't think she can fit. Oh, she can. Okay, perfect. Cool. And let's see. Is there anything I should know about? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I don't know what happened to those mummies. That was weird. They just kind of vanished. I don't know. All right, go ahead and check this tomb. Can you check it? Yeah, look inside. Look inside. Look inside. Then you can open this. Collect the loot. You might as well go ahead and... Can you not push this one? Probably not. You probably can only do that one, which is fine. All right, what did she found? She found medium quality dried food, a money bag, uh, 50 more ancient coins for 5,564. We have got ancient coins up the wahazoo. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and do this. I'll feel better when I come back and know that I've actually like completed something this time. I was starting to feel like I hadn't completed anything. <laughs> Felt like this tomb was never ending. Fifteen of five. All right, so we can make three of these sarcophagus of the king's coffins. We can make three of them now. Speed you up while you search these. You take forever. Go ahead and cash in your money bag for 116 simoleons. Not the greatest, but it's something. What was that? Oh, an Egyptian sarcophagus fragment. We can almost make two of those. We almost got five coffin fragments. <laughs> five coffins that we can make. Alright, so we've got the Relic of Eternity here. The sarcophagus fragment again. <laughs> and then we've got to pick up this. And I'm glad that we've actually got that. That means that we've actually done something. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I don't know what's going on with this room and why it's not loading in, but I'm hoping next time I come in... It'll be loaded in and we can actually see. There's a lot going on. Really don't know. And would like to be able to figure out how to get these things. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hopefully it'll load up next time. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like this, but it just seems a little odd to me. 
Like, how am I supposed to see anything? <laughs> it's very dark, friend. All right, so next time we'll finish exploring this room. It's her last day here. No, it's not. It's her second to last day here. So when we finish this, we'll return the quest in in the next episode. And then I'm probably going to send her home for a bit. And we're going to stay home for like a couple episodes, get some stuff done with the kids, and then we'll head back out. I really want to finish Egypt and France, France's quests before um, we head on, you know, and head out and do a different LP. So if I have to extend it a few, I will, but I really think 75 should probably be enough to complete it all. And that should be pretty good. So guys, if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, in the description below is a donation link if you would like to donate to my channel. That would be amazing. But if not, that's totally optional and fine. Um, also, there's other two of the links down there. There is... Um, what's else? What else is down there? Um, there's a link to my Twitter and a link to my Twitch. So if you'd follow me on both of those, that would mean a lot. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.